Hong Kong stocks decline as investors brace for tighter U.S. curbs on technology exports to China and amid concerns about the worsening Israel-Hamas war. Government reports this week may show the Chinese economy slowed last quarter. The Hang Seng Index fell 0.4% to 17,739.51 at 11.10 a.m. local time, retreating further from a five-week high. The Tech Index slipped 1.1% as China's top chip makers tumbled. The Shanghai Composite Index lost 0.5%, China's biggest semiconductor producer SMIC fell 1% to 20 Hong Kong dollars and 50 cents while Hua Hong slid 2.8% to 19 Hong Kong dollars and 32 cents. Boidu lost 2. 1% to 122 Hong Kong dollars. Alibaba Group dropped 0.5% to 82 Hong Kong dollars and 15 cents and 10 cent, slump 1.5% to 302 Hong Kong dollars and 20 cents, while Meituan slid 0.9% to 113 Hong Kong dollars and 60 cents. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge. Our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. Casino operator sends China sleet 2.3% to 21 Hong Kong dollars. 45 while online travel agency trip.com lost 1.1% to 258 Hong Kong dollars and 80 cents. The Biden administration is planning to tighten regulations on the sale of graphics chips for artificial intelligence purposes. And advanced chip-making equipment to Chinese companies, Reuters reported on Sunday. The impending new curbs followed Huawei's latest smartphone utilizing secretive advanced chips. Geopolitical risks are disrupting the recovery process in the short term, Huatai securities analyst Wang Yi said in a note to clients on Monday. The war in Israel has led to a sharp increase in risk aversion. He wrote, Israel should stop its collective punishment of Gaza's civilians with actions beyond self-defense, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said, warning it would worsen regional tensions and lead to humanitarian disaster. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken urged Beijing to use its influence to prevent other groups from attacking Israel and widening its war with Hamas. Elsewhere, China's gross domestic product probably rose at an annual pace of 4.5% last quarter, according to consensus from economists tracked by Bloomberg. That's slower than the 6.3% gain in the second quarter. Other forecasts showed industrial production, retail sales and employment likely stabilized. Meanwhile, the People's Bank of China on Monday injected 289 billion yuan 40 billion US dollars of liquidity into the financial system through its medium-term lending facility. Governor Pan Gongsheng earlier said it would better leverage monetary policies to boost demand and confidence, suggesting potential easing measures in store. Key Asian markets weaken. South Korea's KOSPI dropped 1.3% and Australia's SPE slash ASX 200 lost 0.3%, while Japan's Nikkei 225 slipped 1.6%.